Uh, hello viewers, uh, today's topic is uh, migraine headache or uh, also known as menstrual migraine, you know. And uh, most of uh, uh, the women, they feel headaches or migraines uh, during their uh, menstruation time. And uh, the migraine headache uh, is a result of specific changes uh, within the brain, you know. And uh, it causes severe headache. And that is often accompanied by the sensitivity to light, uh, sound, or the smells. And uh, the common symptoms include like, uh, uh, like the eye pain or the sensitivity to light, or the nausea, vomiting and uh, the severe pain uh, usually on one side of the head, uh, head you know and uh, that uh, some individuals uh, describe as uh, pounding pain you know and other types of the headaches can also cause severe pain and uh, not all headaches are the migraines that should, you should keep in mind you know and uh, for example some people describe the pain of uh, cluster headaches uh, as the worst pain that they have experienced you know and the exact cause of migraines is not known and the changes in the neurotransmitter levels within the brain are thought to play an important role in uh, the migraine, you know. And uh, migraines are diagnosed by the typical clinical signs and the symptoms and there's no uh, one specific test that can be used to diagnose it, you know. And uh, uh, migraines can be triggered by many factors, for example, hormonal changes, or uh, like stress or anxiety, you know, and uh, certain foods as well. And the strong uh, stimuli like uh, loud noises. And the migraine treatment usually is uh, with uh, over-the-counter medications or the prescription medications, you know. And, uh, and the prescription medications uh, uh, used to uh, relieve the pain for the migraine include like uh, triptans, you know. And... Uh, like uh, El Suma or uh, uh, Imitrex, you know. So these are the drugs which are used uh, to treat the migraines. Uh, there are lifestyle changes uh, uh, like uh, eating a healthy diet or getting uh, exercise may help to reduce the frequency of the migraine and uh, try to avoid the foods that trigger the migraines you know and uh, it uh, it also may reduce the frequency of attacks you know and uh, some people find uh, that the exercise for example yoga and uh, uh, muscle relaxation therapies uh, are also helpful you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye. Keep watching.